Hello everybody again. Um, it's time for part two of my Dreamcast review. The Dreamcast is now wired up. If you just look over there, yep, it's wired up. So I can now show you some games. Yeah. If I switch channels, now I won't be able to see see this on the on the TV screen. I won't be able to see this. I create software, so uh, so don't blame me if the t if the TV goes if the camera goes naff or anything. I'm I'm off. Yeah. Right. Now let's the first game that we're going to play is going to be the first game that I showed you, which was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Which is right here. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right here. Yeah, the cases for Dreamcast games are quite sexy, but it, does, it has two, like two compartments, but the cases are very brittle. Like for example, take I'm gonna, let me find it. Take the Sonic Adventure. As soon as I open it, it cracks off. That was how I bought, I bought it like that. I didn't snap it up myself. As soon as I bought it, it just immediately snapped off whenever I did that. Anyway, who wants to be a millionaire? Does it snap off though? And this looks like this, very, very neat to Dreamcast go down in a band there. Just put that in. And you're about to see possibly one of the greatest boot up sequences of all time. Let it begin. Awesome, isn't it? The game boots up. Anyone, any of you live in the UK are probably familiar with who wants to be a millionaire. Anyone lives in the US probably familiar to, with who wants to be a millionaire as well. But both the same game, like, but they've got different presenters. US, I think it's some guy called Regis Philbin, but I don't know. I know I know the same guy that does America's Got Talent, which is on ITV2 over here. But this one has Chris Town doing voiceovers and everything. It's quite. quite it gets a bit gay after a while, actually. Ow. The intro of this game is well done. I mean, it creates, has a nice remix of the theme tune going on in the background. Shows all lifelines. 50 50 for a friend. Ask the audience. Of course, those are the questions that you got to answer. And. Another, another set of questions. It goes to the game. Yeah. If you, I don't know if you can see that, but on the VMU look, it shows a millionaire logo on it. Actually, yeah. And it shows the loading progress on the VMU, which is quite good. You know, it just says loading on the screen. Press that button. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Those voiceovers can get pretty boring after a while. Okay, for starters, I need to know... Okay, you are okay. on your own. Okay, first bit, if you'd be so kind, please enter your name. Right, so, enter your name, you've got to... I don't know why you've got to enter your name, the game doesn't exactly do anything, but anyway enter your name and in a minute it actually asks you for instructions as if, as if any Briton doesn't doesn't know how to play who wants to be a millionaire set that name no don't the instructions on, on, on the British one it loads 21, 19, 16, 12, 12 <laughs> loading progress on the VMU yeah good luck now have you ready to take on your first question here comes the first question so for one hundred pounds, yeah. Like, for, but first few questions are quite easy. Which piece of coloured material is said to enrage a bull? Red rag, obviously. Of course it is. You got one hundred. And it shows the money ladder on the VMU in the actual game. Here's question two. It's worth two hundred pounds. What does sixteen ounces equal? Sixteen ounces equal. Absolutely no idea. I'm only 11, can't you blame me? Alright, take your time, uh, you've still got all three lifelines. What, 16 ounces equal? Come on, notice. 
I'm gonna, uh, Ben, will this be a good time then? Lifeline's 50-50. 50-50, use your lifeline computer, take away two wrong answers, please. 50-50 on a VMU now. One remaining wrong answer. I know it's like a stone or oh for god's sake. If I'm back then it's a pound. It's definitely a pound, yeah. Come on. There you go. And uh, you get just for that, turn that off. And Choose our next game. In fact, I won't show you the next game. I'm going to just show you the Dreamcast boost menu. See the boot sequence again. Yeah, you see, you've got play. If you press that, I'm wanting to insert a game disc, because play means play a game when I haven't got a disc inserted. You can play CDs, even though it's got a GD ROM drive, it's back, back to quite a lot of CDs. Although the CD player isn't nearly as good as the Saturn, as the Saturn can make, can make you, can make you, can make a bubblegum pop song sound like heavy metal, thanks to the voice changer. Pitch changer, I mean. Settings, settings are pretty bare. You, you set them like when you first turn on the console. And file, that's the most important bit. I haven't got any save files. I do actually have a free VMUs, but I left it, me other two VMUs at my dad's house at the weekend, so I'm gonna have to pick those up sometime and show them to you in a separate video. Uh, if you take the VMU out, then it does actually, uh, then it does actually be a portable console you can actually walk around with you and manage your save games and some some games like Sonic Adventure and Power Stone you have mini games inserted into them so so yeah very nifty but you need lithium you need two lithium batteries in them which I haven't got I've never been able to use the portable aspect of the VMU but I'm for that I'm very sad so I will sometime though and I will post another video so yeah I've turned that off Go to the next game. See what's an ideal next game. Choo Choo Rocket. Puzzle game. See the boot up sequence again. Choo Choo Rocket is a puzzle game as just said. We have to guide mice into a rocket and avoid cats. Very strange premise, I don't know, but you sort of forget that it's strange once you get into the thing. Now, if you... Most games give you this. 50 hertz, 60 hertz, test. Can be displayed with no power television. 60 hertz gets it removes small borders off the side of the screen and gets it in proper full screen, yeah! So, and test switches it very temporarily to 60 hertz, test that. This telly can do 60 hertz and it looks a lot better. So, go on 60 hertz. Present Bass Shaker. It's like a VM, U. Just says VM at the top for some reason. So, say VM, U. Go on a puzzle. Nice catchy menu music. <laughs> Where to go? Right, first few stages dead easy. You press Y to move it up. If you have to, if you have to place left symbol X, right B, down A, here, simple as that. Press the right trigger to send her off, and press the right trigger again to speed things up because it goes as slow as hell. Yeah. Stage two. This one's easy again. It just goes up there. Yeah. Another easy one. Yeah. See, this is why at first it appears boring, but it is just very, probably, ve very, very easy in the first few levels. Which is why the first few levels are pretty boring. But when once you get into the later stages, it makes you really use your brain and stuff. Say the bush, 
This is where it starts to get into like a medium difficulty. It took me a while to figure this one out. You have to do, put down there and left there to multiple, and there's only one mouse this time as well. It's called save the bus because the bus will save the running on it, obviously. Use the walls. I only just recently figured this one out, actually. You've got to do this. I think the title pretty much gives it away. You've got to, you've got to use the walls on this level. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to just show you one of the later levels. Well, look at this. Gang of cats. This is the last thing. Look at it. My god. I've never been able to figure this one out, and I've been trying for like five years, and I still haven't. Like, how are you supposed to? You're surrounded by cats that eat you. I mean, seriously. And you turned that off. Just, I'm gonna just go take a break from this, see what I'm up to on the thing. I'm up to 10.50. Oh god, goodbye. See you next time.